Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can update your Docker containers safely without losing any data or information. Now, why would we want to keep our Docker containers updated? So, say that here I have the Open Web UI Docker container, and I can see that this is currently running on localhost 3000. So if I go to localhost 3000, I can see that I'm currently on Open Web UI. Now, the problem here is that I am running Open Web UI version 0.5.4, and there is a 0.5.7 version that's available right now. And I can see that based on the current release notes. So I know that I want to update my container, but here I don't want to delete any of my information. So suppose that here, if I go to my settings, I can see that I have a bunch of API keys and I don't want to lose this information because I don't want to enter them again. So how can I do that safely? Well, there are a couple of ways in which we can do this. The first way, which is the easiest way, is I can open up my command prompt window and before I stop the container or I delete the container or anything, I'm going to first pull the new image for Open Web UI. So here I can see that the newest version of Open Web UI has been pulled. So now I can stop Open Web UI, Docker remove Open Web UI. And then lastly, I'm going to simply copy and paste the regular docker run command, which I can find right here. So I'm going to copy it, go back here, and then paste it. Once I execute, you can see that it's currently running. And it's going to take a second to start up. Once it does, I can go to my local host 3000. And pretty easily, I can see that now I have Open Web UI version 0.5.7. So that's perfect it updated my Docker container. I can go here to my admin panel, settings and connections, and I can see that all of my keys are still intact. It didn't lose any of my information from this container, which is what I like to do. Now you are about to hate me for this next part, but all of the steps that we just took can be completely automated. The tool that we'll use for this is known as Watchtower. And I'm going to paste this Docker run command in the description. Basically, all I'm saying is that run this container known as Watchtower and make it monitor Open Web UI. So the way that's going to work is that any single time I want the Open Web UI container to be updated, all I'll do is I'll simply start the Watchtower container. Now this process usually takes about five to ten minutes. It's going to check to see if there are any updates that are available for Open Web UI, and if there are, it's going to automatically update this Docker container for me. Now. There is a setting in Watchtower where I can make it not just check the open web UI container, but every single one of my containers, but I don't want it to update every single one of my containers. I only want it to track this specific one. So there are ways in which you can limit the updates to specific containers. So that's the Docker run command, and that's my preferred way of doing this. Any single time that there's an update, all I'll do is I'll simply start the Watchtower container and then Watchtower will, will automatically update Open Web UI for me. So I don't really have to do a lot of that work by myself. Now that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.